Hey everybody, it's Lara from Lara's Art Corner. Um, I just wanted to take some time to update you on some of the new items that I have in the shop. Um, I have some new glitters. I have a bunch of uh, holographic glitters in. Um, I also have some UV glitters. Sorry about this. <laughs> anyway, um, these turn colors when the sun gets to it. So this one here turns blue and this one turns purple. And I also have pink. I also have them in the fine glitters. So you can have a choice of fine or chunky. Um, I have new stones in. Um, these, well, I'll show these first. These are the apricot agates. I just think these are beautiful and they have beautiful markings. And the baggies that I get are very heavy duty so they stay nice and tight for your packaging. Um, so it's going to be hard to show these, but the, ooh, I'm dropping them. <laughs> Anyway, they have very pretty lines in them. It's going to be hard to show on camera, but I, I have some good photos of them on the website. Um, I also have some Amazonite. <clears throat> some strawberry quartz. All of these stones, I package them because they're bigger stones, because they will look great as your center stone in your geodes. Oops. <laughs> so I just love Amazonite. These come from um, a great dealer that is always in the Tucson gemstone. Um, down in Arizona. So they're very high quality stones. Uh, I have some appetite here. They're pretty teal color. Appetite is one of my favorite stones too. And I love these amethysts because they're kind of striped. So again, they're larger stones. And will look great surrounded by some clear tumbled stones. These I put in a category all by themselves and it's it's called jemmies cuz they're they're actual gemstones but I mean they're tumbled stones but they're real. So very very pretty stones. Um I just recently bought these things and I named them beebles cuz they're just like the baubles. Everybody loves the baubles. These are glass as well. But these are different shaped. Oops, I'm spilling those too. I'm not doing a very good job at this. <laughs> Let's see if I can lower that down. Well, anyway. They're glass and they're iridescent. These look great. Um... As do the baubles, they look great and as a texture. Um, they also look good like in a water scene, a, a beach scene. Uh, the trick to it is um, that you put them in last. You can either sprinkle them on top or you can, if you're doing several layers to a, a beach water scene, then you would put them in last in your clear coat that way you still see them 
um, if you were to put them in with a color, it, you're not going to see them. So it has to be a clear. Um, and last but not least. Okay, you ready for this? I don't have them in the shop yet, but they're, they're going soon. <clears throat> I have CZs. This size is five millimeters. So this is like a half carat. And of course they never look good in the bag, but whether or not you'll be able to see how much shimmer will be the trick. Yeah, you're not gonna see the shimmer. My fingers surrounding it from the light. Um, I don't have them on the website yet. Let me see if I can hold it in my hand and see if I can get some reflection. But anyway, I have, um, right now I have five millimeter, six millimeter, and I have more coming. I wanted to try them first and see how they looked. Um, I ordered a thousand of each size. <clears throat> I also got the two millimeter, but they're really little, so I don't think I'm going to put those in the shop. Um... So I have five and six right now, and I have four and eight millimeters coming. So they're gonna be nice size. They're gonna look really nice if you just throw them in a little extra with your geodes. Um, you could line, make, make a stream of them going through um, a painting. Um, but anyway, that's all I've got for now for the shop. Um, I do have a giveaway coming up soon. Um, I have some of the silicone cups that I want to give away. And I love using them. Uh, they're great for saving the earth, of course. Um, and I try to use them as much as I can. I still have some of the plastic cups that I've you know, there's three ounce cups and I bought them from eBay and I bought a case of them. So I still have to use those up. I guess, you know, I could probably give some to my son to to let his kids use for drinking juice or something in the morning because they're really small. I mean, you couldn't, three ounce. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> anyway, so I have some of the silicones to give away. And um, I also have a, a tester set of Mastercast, which is 14 ounces. They're just a good size tester set. Um, so those are things to look forward to. So um, that's coming up here probably on the next video. So stay tuned. Um, and I'll probably require for you to share one of my videos. I don't care which one it is, but um, if you're going to share the a one that is not the giveaway video, then I would say you would need to contact me through email so that I can put you in a giveaway. Um, other than that, I'm going to make some coasters. Um, I have met Kathy LaPere, LaPierre, I think is her correct pronunciation. Um, she's so sweet. She does these beautiful, beautiful flower coasters. Um, I just, her page came across my notifications and I looked at it. And um, so now I've asked her to try some of our products. Um, I did send her some Angel White because she's been using Casting Craft, I think. Um, and she also uses white paint. So I'm really anxious for her to try the Angel White. So I said that we should do a challenge. And I'm going to try doing the coasters, her technique. Now, granted, I've been decorating cakes since I was 21. But 
my I'm 60 now I'm 60 <laughs> so my hands shake a little bit so I'm I'm a little bit paranoid about this challenge I'm not sure that um well, we'll see I'm gonna give it a shot hopefully I can make some beautiful ones like she does um, but anyway, her, her challenge for me would be to use the angel white. I sent her some colors too, so I don't really care what colors she wants to use. Um, but I would like to see her use the white. Okay, so I'm going to make some resin and uh, get started here in just a few. Thanks. So here's a better look at the CCs. Aren't they gorgeous? See how shiny they are? With these, you just have to make sure that you don't submerge them into the resin. Um, because with any stone, if you submerge it, you're going to lose its uh, shining abilities. So, aren't they pretty? Yeah, so if you're ever doing resin you should probably take your wedding rings off. I'm just saying. I got some on my ring one time, but uh, luckily I got it off with some alcohol right away. But I make sure that I don't wear it when I'm doing resin anymore. Okay, so I'm going to use the angel white. The pink velvet. And some pink rainbow glitter, which is holographic. It's very pretty. And some iridescent flakes. They're called iridescent sparkle white. These are also the Eco Art Solution cups, silicone cups that will be given away in the giveaway. So um, those will be coming up. I just wanted to show them to you. I'm gonna use this one and this one tonight.
Hey guys, it's Lara with Lara's Art Corner. And um, I'm getting ready to reveal the coasters to see if I even came close to Kathy LaPierre's method. I'm thinking not, but we'll try. Anyway, I also wanted to show you these molds that I got on Etsy. This guy, um, he's in Florida. And these molds can be used for food. Um, I think he advertised them for chocolate molds or something. But I just loved them and I had to buy them. <clears throat> but anyway, so I took whatever resin I had left over from doing these. And I made these cute little seahorses. Oh, you really can't see. It doesn't really show a very good picture. It's more translucent here. Um, here's a little turtle. So yeah, I had, I filled both molds. I don't know if you can see the glitter very good. And the little starfish. Isn't he cute? You can see the glitter on the backside, so I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> with further ado, let's see if these turned out. Oh, they are kind of cute. Look at that. See? The only thing here is, I think I got too much glitter in. So, I mean, it's not completely, um, I mean, it's smooth, but look at that, bam. <laughs> How cute is that? Oh my gosh. Now I'm going to have to do more. This one looks like a little bit of the white went into the glitter part. See that? See that? You can see it right here, but it's smooth. It just doesn't look like it is. I think, it, like I said, I think I put too much glitter in. But if we're going with that side, you're never going to see that. <laughs> Okay, so now I have to do a Kathy LaPierre move. How's that? <laughs> I love them. Oh my gosh, I'm going to do some other colors now. I used um, the pink velvet. And I wasn't too sure about this one because it's not really a... A translucent pigment but see people people need to realize that any pigment can be translucent uh, you just put less in so this is not meant to be a translucent pigment so I put very very little in so and look they're translucent can you see my fingers through them even through the pink um, I mean, I don't know if you can see, like, this is clear all the way around here. And then the pink is kind of starts about here. But then the, the white goes on top. So I absolutely love these. Oh, thank you, Kathy, for being such a genius to 
create these coaster designs. I'm in love. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. I'll post this later. Bye.